We got all that out then, didn't I? So uh, with the driving instructor, I haven't had no lessons. Hey guys, in today's driving test video, we have Callum. Callum and Callum, could you tell me what you told me when I, I picked you up from the train station? Um, so, uh, how many lessons have you had? So uh, with the driving instructor, I haven't had no lessons. I've been driving with my dad since October when I turned 17. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm ready to pass. Uh, that's why I'm here today. So no lessons with the driving instructor? No. You've just had lessons with your dad. You've uh, picked up stuff from the videos. Yeah. And you told me one other thing which I want you to mention. What else have you been using? The dri ultimate driving course. <laughs> I see guys. Any of you that are learning to drive and want to save time and money on your driving lessons like Callum has done, yeah, please uh, download the course. Yeah. Right then, Callum. Um, yeah. Any questions before we start? No. Uh, sorry guys, just one other thing, any of you that do want to take part in one of these mock tests, all you need to do is drop me a message on Insta Instagram at DJ and Driving and yeah, from there I'll just let, select people randomly, yeah. yeah. Right then, so you've been watching the videos, if you do make a fault, I won't say anything until the end of the test, yeah, we'll discuss yeah. them then. And for those of you who are watching, if Callum does make any faults, um, I will talk about them just before they happen, just so I can educate you on them. Right then, so uh, whenever you're ready Callum, yeah. if you could uh, move off for me please. Yeah. So you guys, like I mentioned, um, I picked up Callum from the train station, I've um, never met him before and it's his first time driving in Wolverhampton. Yeah, first yeah. time. And obviously driving this car as well. Callum moves off with good observations, checking both blind spots. So has he been in drive with your dad? Uh, well, driving with the parents is always going to be stressful, really, isn't it? But uh, yeah, it's all right. Well, you saved yourself uh, some money on lessons. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's not cheap at the moment, really, is it? I always have a massive respect for you know any parents that that teach their kids yeah. from scratch. It does take. Uh, it does some take. Courage. I remember the first time I got into the car with my dad. It weren't a good one. Well, I've learned from that though. Is there anything in uh, your driving that you haven't covered so far? Uh, just my parking really. I've done a bit of parking, not the best of it, but... Uh, so when you say a bit of parking, which, which parking manoeuvre? Front bay parking, re reverse parallel parking. You haven't uh, done much of those? I haven't done much of them, no. Have you done the emergency stop? Yeah, I've done the emergency stop. As you can see, we are in the right hand lane. The road narrows and these two lanes merge. Callum should check the centre and left mirrors at this point. He doesn't check any mirrors. Okay Callum, we're going to start the independent driving part of the yeah. test now. If you could follow signs to Warsaw. Warsaw? Yeah. This first roundabout, Callum does well, but at the second roundabout, he makes his first serious driving fault. Callum doesn't see this sign. We are supposed to be turning left at this roundabout. You know which way Walsall is here? I haven't got a clue. It's left. Left? Yeah. Oh, well, we can't get into that lane now. Now Callum knows he's in the wrong lane and makes the right decision not to change lanes because of the lorry. We can see that this lane is marked for Colesley Road which is straight ahead. So what Callum should do is go straight ahead because of the lane he's in. You guys have heard me say many times before that going the wrong way is not a driving fault. But Callum decides to turn left from this lane. Also his check to the right to see if it was safe to enter the roundabout was a bit late. Can I still turn out? The 
the gap he kept from the vehicle in front which is known as the following distance was good. In wet conditions you should keep a 4 second gap from the vehicle in front. At this roundabout Callum shows good lane discipline by keeping to the left. At this point Callum should have signalled left to exit the roundabout. Now this is the kind of stuff that impresses me as an instructor. This left lane closes due to roadworks. Most learners in this situation would end up steering too close to the lorry. Callum knows exactly what's going on behind, shows good judgement and when he sees a safe gap he doesn't hesitate. I'd say if you can deal with these kind of situations comfortably then you're well on your way to being test ready. When exiting a carriageway, do not slow down too much on the actual carriageway. This is what the slip road is for. Callum slows down too much too early, which disrupts the flow of traffic behind. When parking up, Callum forgets to press the clutch pedal down, so stalls. Forgot about that then, didn't I? When I ask Callum to turn left at these lights, he doesn't check the left mirror. Let's turn left. It is the same again at this right turn, no mirrors before signalling. Turn right please. There are no oncoming vehicles, so it's safe to continue in second gear. Callum decides to select first gear and slows down a bit too much. Callum shows good awareness by noticing the space narrowing and slowing down for the oncoming bus. Now I'm going to ask Callum to do the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre. He does pick up another serious fault when doing this. Okay Callum, uh, you know which uh, manoeuvre I'm going to ask you to do now, yeah? First parallel park. Yep, just using, using this car in front. Yeah, yeah. so uh, I want you to finish uh, fairly close to the kerb. When you finish up, you can leave about this much space. Yeah. Yeah. So whenever you're ready. Yeah. He starts off with good all-round observations, but as he steers to the left, he doesn't check the right blind spot as our vehicle swings out. There is a vehicle approaching, so I do have to ask Callum to stop. I think he just tried to do the manoeuvre in one quick movement. I always recommend stopping a couple of times, just makes it easier. His finishing position was good, nice and close to the pavement. Okay, 
and move off when you're ready. I thought that was quite good to be fair, apart from that stop part. I guess that's the serious and that is. So I know I failed already, but. <laughs> oh well. It's all fun and games. Like you said, the actual accuracy wise, the um, accuracy part, meaning the distance from the pavement, really good. That's the first time ever doing it as well. <laughs> you got. <laughs> Callum gets too close to this mobility scooter, as speed was slow when passing, otherwise this would have been marked as a serious driving fault. And this roundabout continues straight in, I take the second exit please. A common fault on this roundabout is going from the left to the right hand lane after entering the roundabout. Callum shows good lane discipline. I'm going to ask Callum a show me question and he can't work out how to wash the windscreen. This would be a minor fault on a driving test but be careful that you keep good control of the car when you're trying to answer the question. You'll see how Callum slows down as he's trying to work out how to wash the screen. I've seen many learners lose focus and almost hit the pavement. Okay Callum, if you could uh, show me how to wash the front windscreen please. Watch. Yes. Callum has missed a few mirror checks so far, which have all been marked as minors. A reoccurring fault can be marked as a serious fault. Now here the two lanes merge so Callum should check the centre and right mirrors. He doesn't check the correct mirrors so I decided to mark this as a serious fault. Okay Callum, shortly I'm going to actually do the beauty stop. Yeah. Callum gives a good demonstration on how an emergency stop should be done. His stopping was good and he remembers to check both blind spots before moving off. Stop! Thank you and move off when you're ready. That's the end of the test, let's find out what Callum thought about his driving and give him some feedback. Thank you and switch off the engine. That's the end of the test. Yeah. How do you think you did? Well, I already know where I failed. I don't know if I failed anywhere else. So apart from the manoeuvre, yeah, that manoeuvre was a serious fault. Yeah. You've seen it in all the videos that I... It was a bit of an awkward one because it was around a bend. Yeah. It was behind me, it was a bend, but... But... Yeah. Again, I know you said you haven't done that manoeuvre before, yeah. But it, um, if you've been watching the videos regularly, yeah, that's a check that I always say, don't we say, it's okay to stop. Yeah. yeah. So you know when your car's about to swing out, just stop. Yeah. Check all around, make sure it's safe, lot, yeah. don't rush it. You don't try and do one quick movement. Okay, yeah. but that's with any of your manoeuvres. So yeah, that was the fault there for the observations, yeah. Um, but apart from that, you did the manoeuvre well. Um, do you think you made a serious fault anywhere else? Not that I can think of, but I probably have. I've given you another two serious faults, yeah. Overall driving, absolutely, it, it, it's really, really good, yeah. Really good for not having lessons with a... Um, driving instructor, yeah. yeah. Okay, just having listened to your dad, it just shows how powerful the videos yeah. are if you don't pay attention to them and, and just follow them, yeah. I, because at the end of the day, the videos give you the knowledge, yeah, the, like the ultimate driving course gives you the knowledge, but you've got to go, go out there and practice yeah. what's in there and like credit to you and your dad. 
yeah no. your roundabouts really good yeah your um, saying that that's why one of your serious faults was yeah okay. lane, lane discipline <laughs> not even lane discipline so you know on the um, when I should follow signs to Warsaw you turn right yeah. at the first round that brilliant then I said to you um, do you know where we're going at this roundabout you said I have no idea yeah, because the, the sign. yeah you missed a sign yeah so I said to you left yeah. yeah and then you didn't get into the left hand lane you're like you were asking me can I use this lane do you see the marking on that lane I can't remember yeah he had a straight arrow yeah and it's yeah. awful yeah, 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 which yeah. is just straight ahead yeah and so should you have turned left from that lane yeah no yeah uh, you turned left from that lane that arrow was it's not just uh, the arrow he said yeah. he actually said um calls the road on there which is so that yeah. lane is for for going straight ahead yeah you turned left from that lane yeah i guess so that's what the serious thought was for okay so if you find yourself in a situation where you've gone the wrong way or you're not sure which way you're going just, just stick to your lane stick to my lane yeah and again what have you heard me say so many times in the video you're not going to fail for going the wrong way that's it <laughs> yeah yeah okay another one i've given you is for overall your mirrors you yeah, did say to me I thought my, I was my mirrors like on roundabouts really good changing lanes brilliant that one where um there were roadworks and that lorry was next to us yeah. really good observations brilliant yeah where you matters you are checking them where you're not checking them is before you apply the signal on yeah. a normal normal left or right turn yeah yeah so uh, a few times well a lot of the times when i should turn left you're just signaling and then you might check the center mirror and yeah, if you feel like left, it just check the left mirror center mirror then signal yeah it's mirror mirror then signal yeah yeah if you're turning right center mirror right mirror and then signal yeah. okay so pay more attention to those mirror checks that's where you that's another them. thing with um learning to drive with parent like you do little things like that and you don't realize it do you yeah yeah obviously because they're not used to doing that yeah yeah um, but it's like them when he when it's like a dangerous move maneuver like a lane change or something they're always checking them yeah and that's yeah. what you're doing okay but there they could be cyclists yeah mm. and um both these side mirrors are, are important it's only because it kept happening a few times and at the end when i decided to mark his a serious fault was when um i thought you know what if he does it right this time i'm not going to mark his a serious fault yeah? yeah okay so we turned right at a crossroad there were two lanes emerging into one lane and you're in the left hand lane yeah so when the two lanes merge into one and you're in the left hand lane which mir which mirrors should you check the right and center yeah. and you didn't you yeah. get a quick look in the left one if you're anything okay so that was the point of that. okay i'm going to give him a serious fault for that yeah okay so yeah just work on uh i was in maneuvers you know you you, you said you really haven't practiced yeah yeah that's the first time i've ever done a reverse parallel yeah so um i'm pretty sure with with practice you'll you'll, you'll totally yeah. perfect that yeah uh, mirrors is a definite yeah and the thing that you fell on wouldn't say you need work on because all your other round bats are really good yeah it's just a mistake little, yeah yeah okay and if you go if you're in the wrong lane doesn't matter just continue just, yeah just that, continue yeah. okay um with this show me question i thought i'd check in a show yeah. me question there yeah uh, is it yours I mean, that, that, that's that? irrelevant yeah so look it, it is you do have to pull it towards you yeah oh, but, it but, it? but the key thing is yeah you know when you're trying to work out how to do it yeah yeah the road is clear what was you doing to the speed of our car changing it back and forth yeah i was you were slowing right down just to work out where yeah luckily there was no one close behind yeah yeah is that that lady decided to cross because i don't know if she thought we were giving her giving away or something yeah. because we were really slow okay so you'd get a minor there but if there was traffic directly behind you you could pick up a serious fault yeah. so when people say do i fail for this uh, these these questions you don't fail but if you let it affect you drive you driving yeah Okay, at one point you did steer slightly to one side as well. I've seen some people totally lose control because they're focusing um, yeah. on the controls there. Yeah, and so that's how it can lead to a fail. Okay, if you're not sure, just deal with the situation and think, okay, okay it, it's kind of safe now, now I'll have another look. You don't have yeah. to do it there and then straight away. Okay? Yeah. But, um, Callum, definitely get your test booked. Yeah. yeah. But no doubt you'll, uh, I think you'll breeze your test first time. Yeah. Okay? Um, what would you reckon? Just a couple of brush up lessons with an instructor, something like that. You don't really have to have any lessons with an instructor. Yeah. Yeah. Are you planning on taking your dad's car to the test? Yeah. That's it. Just make sure you got an interior mirror. Yeah. You don't really need any lessons with an instructor. Yeah, okay, because 
there's nothing there. If, if you can sort out the the mirrors before you signal, and, yeah, and sort of those maneuvers, yeah, you don't you don't really need any lessons. If you're driving another thing Porsche as well, this car it's a different car. It's first time driving course, in it. Yeah, I, I take always take that into consideration. You know, when anyone yeah. stalling or anything like that. Yeah, but overall, just your just how you're handling the car, your awareness around you, it's, you know, you, uh, just get your test booked. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Simple as that. <laughs> that's it. Right, any questions? No, I think that's it. I appreciate you having me here. Yeah? Callum, thank you very much for coming down to yeah. this year. Okay. And guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.